Hello curl friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jody, and it's great to have you join me today. So today is another chat with me. It is a series I started a while back. If you're new here and not familiar with this, I, it's just kind of like an informal, I'm grabbing products from my stash, trying to use them up. Sometimes I practice with these products beforehand and kind of have an idea of how they're gonna turn out. Sometimes I just kind of do it last minute and hope for the best. And so I just enjoy that experimenting and being able to chat and connect with you guys. So like I said, this whole extra intro is if you're new here and don't know what this chat with me series is for, here you go. This is what I'm telling you it's about. So I feel like I have a lot to talk about today. And so I'm going to just get started into this. The first product I am going to be applying is the Shea Moisture Papaya and Neroli All Day Frizz Control Milk Gel. I used this quite a while back. It was actually my first year, which I believe was 2021. It's hard to believe, like, I feel like that's so far away when I think about how long I've been doing these videos. And yeah, it still doesn't feel like that far away when I think about the actual time that's passed, if that makes any sense. But anyways, I applied this milk gel with a mousse back then. It was another Shea Moisture mousse. So I already have my hair kind of divided evenly and I've I already kind of mixed up a little bit of it in my hand so I can't show you how much I went in with but this is just going to go on half and what I want to say for starters is that things are kind of changing in my personal life a little bit and in my work life a little bit and now these are temporary changes but there is there's a lot going on with my family right now and I'm hoping that I still plan on continuing this channel but my filming times are changing probably. I used to do my filming usually on like a Wednesday morning, a Tuesday or Wednesday morning and sometimes Saturday morning so I prefer to do it in the mornings. I'm not going to have that time available to me right now for a while and that's really fine but by the way, I went in with about a nickel size amount of this milk gel on both sides. I forgot to show you again. So anyways, I'm just saying if the quality is a little bit different as far as lighting goes, because I don't have a great lighting setup, I do have a ring light, but we're going to work with it the best that we can. So I should have Saturday afternoons free, I think, but we're just going to see how this goes. This is going to be new to me, but it's something that, like I said, it's not going to be forever but it is something that, that needs to be taken care of. I'll get into it more later. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more, just like a pea-sized amount on the very back, kind of in between the two sections. Sometimes I feel like that area gets missed. And I'm gonna split my hair again and just kind of make sure it is nice and wet. I mean, it's pretty wet, but when I brush style, I like to make sure it is really wet. So, you know, it's kind of funny. I don't feel like I'm that confident in my brush styling, but, and I've had people really request that I show my brush styling. Like I said, I don't feel that confident in my brush styling, but the other day I tried to do a brush I tried to do a style without brush styling just because I wanted it to be quick and kind of hassle free. And I'll tell you what, I kind of freaked out about that. I'm like, I don't think this is gonna turn out. And so I kind of did a little bit of brushing, but not really brush styling with it. If that makes any sense, probably not. It doesn't make sense as I'm saying it out loud really, but I just, I just smoothed it over. Oh my goodness, there goes the clock. So if you hear that in the background, just, just ignore it, okay? And then after I smoothed it over with my brush, I just tried to kind of, you know, scrunch the products in, glaze and scrunch and, you know, use my fingers to distribute it. And it turned out okay. It wasn't my favorite. Tell you what, I've been forgetting to bring my, um, my little pick that I have to separate my curls with. So I've just been using my hands then to kind of separate the clumps that I have. Anyways, the other thing I really wanted to talk with you about was another farming thing that this happened a while back. This actually happened in the fall of it was 2022. So last fall. And it was just something that really stuck out to me that day. 
I don't get to farm very often. I don't get to participate in everything because I have like my regular job, my regular paying job. But farming is a part of my, it's, it's in my blood, you know, and it, I really, I really enjoy it. Do I enjoy it because I'm not in it all the time? Maybe. But that's something I feel like I'll have to experiment more with. But anyways, the part I was going to tell you is that during the fall season, when we're harvesting, um, either my dad or my uncle usually drive the combine. And then they need someone to take the grain from the combine to from across the field and into a truck that's waiting to sometimes haul it to the elevator, sometimes put it in a bin. And so I was that person. I've been, I've operated this before, but never done like the complete system and never done it all day. So by the complete system, I mean, I'm in a tractor and don't ask me the tractor exactly. It's a Case International. Um, but I have a grain cart in the back and then the combine fills me up and then I would take it up to the edge of the field where we have one of the grain bins on my grandparents' property. And I would auger into a semi that we had there and then I would dump it and then the semi would dump it into the auger system that go, dumps it into the bin. So that was the steps that we did. Now, the new part to me is that I ran the augering system by myself for the tractor. And that may not seem like a lot, but when you're lining up, oh, and another thing, I did another thing that I'm really proud of. So let me get into that. So then the other part, I feel like I'm getting a little scatterbrained here. So like I said, I'm going to start out in the beginning, kind of. I would pull up to the combine. I would stop and the combine would stop so they could dump in because I was not confident in driving while the combine was driving and dumping on the go. That's called a dump on the go. I was not confident in that. So what we do is the combine would stop. I would stop. They'd fill me up. I'd take that cart back up to the semi, as I told you, and I lined it up and then I would do the augering system. And so I felt pretty proud of myself for learning that. And then my dad, it really wasn't that hard. And then later on in the afternoon, my dad had gotten in from doing something else. He was planting a cover crop actually at that time. And so he rode with me a couple rounds and he's like, why don't we do a dump on the go? And I was like, I don't know if I can do that, dad. He's like, sure, sure you can. And so I really appreciate his confidence in me. It kind of makes it seem a little less stressful on me. I know my mom was terrified of doing that. So before I had that hesitation kind of build in, but my dad was very confident in it. So I did my first dump on the go that afternoon and I did it the rest of the afternoon and I was so proud of myself. So the combine could keep going, keep harvesting the grain and we could just move a little faster. And I really like like that I really enjoyed that really proud of myself and but that really wasn't the whole point of this conversation to be truthfully honest well, let me get into the second product I'm going to be applying sometimes it's hard for me to carry on this conversation that I want to carry on with you because I like to talk with my hands and you know when I'm doing hair products I don't always get to do that second product we're going in with is another mousse this time I chose a mousse because this has some cream like properties and also has some gel like properties in it and then this mousse i felt like would be a good holding product i wanted to previously do the um myel it was like a cream gel styling thing the rosemary mint line and i initially had those two paired up and i did the test to see you know if they mixed well and i forgot how powerful that rosemary mint line smelled and i knew this smelled really powerful and it just the scents cl clashed entirely. The products mixed fine together, but the scents were not good match. So we're going in with this. This is the, by the way, did I say what this is? This is the peach and black tea vitamin infusion mousse from the mood, from the mood collection. So anyways, the whole point of why I really wanted to tell you this was that I went in with three pumps, by the way, that that whole Saturday, cause it happened on a Saturday, I was completely unplugged from all electronics. And I can't tell you the last time that has happened. And it was completely amazing and refreshing. 
I had brought my phone and left it in the car and I didn't realize I was going to be in the tractor quite so long. And I was completely fine with it. At first I was like, oh shoot, what am I going to do this whole time? Because there is downtime. I mean, while you're waiting for the uh, combine to finish filling up and stuff like that, while you're maybe fishing, dumping, actually you really shouldn't be on your phone while you're dumping. That just, that's just asking for trouble, at least being a newbie. And anyways, so I was completely unplugged for the entire day and it was so refreshing and I wasn't bored. Really, I wasn't. There was things to look at. There was things to think about and ponder that I hadn't let myself do maybe for quite some time. And I think it's really healthy. And so I want to challenge you. If you find yourself always on your phone, maybe have it there for if you need to answer messages or stuff like that but i challenge you to be off of social media for several days even if you can and i think it's really healthy i was off of social media for it was back in 2020 i feel like i was off of social media for a month and i really liked that i felt like it was very very healthy and very helpful for me especially at that time there was a season that i just felt like i needed that and so I guess that's my whole point of my message is just try being off of social media for a while. Try unplugging for a while and just spending that whole time outside. And I think you'll find that really helps improve your mood. It's a great mood boost, the sunshine and things like that. So I guess that's all I'm going to preach about on that. But I just really enjoyed my experience with that. And I think you might too. As per usual, I like to flip upside down and I'm gonna put two extra pumps in of that mousse and just kind of glaze that over and scrunch once again. Get that nice squishy sound. You know there's enough product and enough water in there. And I'll just fast forward this through the scrunching a little bit. Okay, I have my shower caps on and I'm going to wet plop as I have been doing and I'm just going to leave this on for about 10 maybe 15 minutes and I'll be back after I've diffused my hair so I'll see you then. Okay girlfriends I am back my hair is fully diffused and everything and I'm just going to let you see this up close here. So my curls are looking like. I feel like I have good shine good definition and so I really like that. However, my hair is more flat than I would like it to be, um, especially for using a mousse. This mousse has given me good volume before in the past. So, I mean, not, it's not my most volumizing mousse, but it has given me good volume in the past. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. Maybe I used too much of the milk gel. I'm not really sure. So we are going to try to fix that. I'm not entirely sure this product that I'm going to use is going to be the one but let me just show you what I'm going to use. I am going to use from that main Peach Main Choice line the hairspray. One, I don't use this that often because I kind of like savoring it, but I love the scent of this. And I feel like it's given me good hold before in the past. I'm not sure it's the most volumizing hairspray. Usually when I use hairsprays, I tend to use aerosol hairsprays. I'll show you what I mean here. Like I have these two here. Got to be Flex Insta Hold. This one is very light hold for me. And then I've been enjoying this Tresemme Extra Hold Hairspray, number four on the hold. So usually I'll go in with this one first and then later on in the day, I'll back it up with this. And usually from there on out, I'll use this one to just kind of add extra hold throughout my wash week. But I want to use this one, like I said, for the scent, for the fact that I used the rest of the line earlier. But I had someone ask me earlier in the spring, like maybe it was, it was early March, I think, how I used my hairspray, how I sprayed it on. And I told them that I'd be including it in this video here. The reason why there's such a gap is because I film ahead. And I usually film about a month or about a month ahead in advance. And I've seen, as I said before, I have a, 
a little bit of a stressful situation coming up with some family issues and work and I could see this coming up so I have been kind of filming a little bit further in advance simply because I want to give myself time to be able to do what I need to do in life and also here on YouTube so forgive me for that but anyways short story long we are going to show you how I apply my hairspray because I had someone specifically ask that question so as I said I usually use a aerosol hairspray but I would apply a regular spritz hairspray the same way first off I like to flip upside down and then I section my hair I just kind of take my fingers here by my ears and I section my hair it's nothing perfect but I just kind of take and separate the front from the back and so I try to target this area and this area a little bit and then I let that rest a little bit let the spray develop just a little bit there and I'll fold this down and spray the top part or I should say the bottom it's on top right now and I kind of get the ends a little bit I kind of let that cast set there just a little bit and I can feel it forming so I'm going to flip back over and then if you know me at all you know I like to flip my hair from side to side kind of it helps with volume and I need to adjust my mirror for this here my hair is laying funny today like she wants to really stand up right here this spot does not really want to lay right especially on this side so just kind of manipulating that a little bit but I'm going to take the spray and I'm going to hairspray my hair on both sides or all over with it flipped this way I'm probably getting hairspray all over this back wall here I don't like that idea but oh well Once again, let that set just a little bit, and then I'll flip over to the next side and finish spraying there. Okay, it has set. I am skipping forward just like fractions of seconds while my hair sets, just so there's not like these awkward legs in there, but just know that I am letting it set a little bit more than you can see. Look at this curl here. I just noticed she's a pretty big chunk there. Normally I wouldn't separate white right while I'm hairspraying, but that's a little bit more aggressive than I want it to be. And now that I've separated that, I am going to spray that just a little bit more right there. Okay, my hair now has a slight cast on it and I like that. That gives me the impression that it should hold up through the rest of the day. And so that is what I look for. I don't need it like a really crunchy cast, but these products were very soft and I had no cast whatsoever. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but I had no cast whatsoever after these products had dried in my hair and I need I need a little bit of something, some hold, some grit, something. Now, as I said, my hair was not very voluminous today. It's not the worst, it's not the best. But I don't do this very often, but you can go in with a little pick. I bought this off of, it was a pack of three, I think, from Walmart. I just go in a little bit here, right towards where my part is, and I pull out a little bit. Go in a little bit, and pull out a little bit. It just kind of fluffs it up. I kind of go all the way around this area. And I will do it as well on like the other part side and then upside down as well. Just kind of get into the root there and lift. Like I said, I don't do this very often really. And you have to be careful, I feel like, because you don't want to pull your hair out. Sometimes I feel like it can feel a little tender on my scalp when I do this. Not all the time. Actually, this is the only time I really recall having this happen. Feeling a little tender there when I'm doing it, but just be careful. Okay, and when I'm upside down, rather than going like this and lifting, I'm gonna go backwards, kind of 
almost against the grain in a sense. I'm going to dig in here and lift. And there you have it. This is the final look on using these two products plus the hairspray. And so I am liking this. I do feel like that added those last two steps, the hairspray and the pick added a little extra volume. This, as I said, was always laying a little funny up here, but I feel like I got a little bit more volume this way. And also when I flip over, let me show you the back of my hair though. Let me kind of get this so it's laying decently in the back and I'll turn around. Okay, curl friends, there you have it. That finishes up this chat with me. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And until I see you again next week, have a great day. Bye.